G'day, Stephen Carey from OffTheGridNiles.com End of October Yeah, what's the date today, Kerry? About the 30th 30th, yes Garden update, general update No, hey, it's just an update, what can I say? Gonna be a quick one, listening to Run Through The Jungle, Mr. YouTube It's only playing in the background on our lousy 3 kilowatt system as usual <laughs> What can I say? What have we... Been a shitty day, babe? Yes, shitty couple of days. Yesterday was really windy. Yeah, but what do we got? 99% on our batteries. Have we? We have. I haven't looked. That's impressive. 99% on impressive. a shitty three kilowatt system. <laughs> listening to Mr. YouTube and run through the jungle. Oh, credence. Yeah, gotta love credence. Okay, oh, quick update. We're gonna go through this 100 miles an hour. And I'm gonna start with something really exciting like the beans. The beans are doing nothing. Oh, they're, they're all right. They're growing well. But they've got no beans. They're not making beans yet. No. So we won't worry about that. More important, as we go around here, we put these buckets down for the tomatoes and stuff. Look at the size of these things. Kerry, little monsters. What's their botanical name? Tomato. Tomato, tomato artois. Tomato radiatus. <laughs> tomato radiatus. Look at them. Two and a half weeks since we did the last video. Sorry about the flare. And Hang on. The cat's annoying the shit out of me. Anyone want a cat? I got a cat gun really cheap. But yeah, the tomatoes in the Crantney buckets Ugh. are doing real well. Yeah. They're, they're just amazing. They got flowers. So they're going to have tomatoes. Yeah. It's got a few. They've all got a few. And they're only, what, two and a half weeks since the last yep. video when they were tiny babies. Yeah. So they're doing well. So I'm going to... And, and, and the celery is doing incredible. The celery? Everyone should grow celery in the Look at that. Celery. The buckets and don't look that great. The lids, but yeah, the celery's doing good. The paint took a beating. Yeah. But the celery's doing real well. And over here, before I go, I'm going to focus on those. As uh, per my other videos, the celery in the other buckets is just, we've got celery pretty much, have you ever seen Steve with celery coming out his ass? Well, that's pretty much what we got um, now. Steve, I just want to show you. Yeah. These ones are yeah. going to seed. Yeah. They want, they're they're going to go to seed. Yeah. And I've been using them and they're getting yeah. a bit woody, so we're going to replace they them. They are getting a bit woody in the bottom. That's what happens after about, what? You know, that's a long, six months? Yeah. And I've been using all the leaves. We do use the leaves yeah. because the leaves are an underrated commodity that people don't use. Now, the beetroots, look at that. I've, I've shown this before, but the beetroots are going real well. Oh my God, they're doing amazing. They're just amazing. And a special thing, we got, is that a broccoli there? It is. Now, there's a broccoli there, and I'll get down here. They're pretty good. They're pretty thick. But when I pan around here, we have broccoli. Check this shit out. I've got to focus in on it. There it is. We got broccoli that we thought was dead or gone to seed, and the bastards are now growing. What do you call broccoli fruit? <laughs> <laughs> look at the thickness on these stalks. Look at baby ones. Yeah, no, they're bloody amazing. And we've actually got a broccoli that's looking like a cauliflower. Look at that. It looks very much like a cauliflower to me. I reckon it's a cockley. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the broccolis are going good. Here's my new garlic chives, the babies. Yes, Kerry's been putting, we've been filling up a few positions in the pipes. I've still got lots to do. But we've got, we, we still can't eat enough of these greens. These bloody spinach, these perpetual spinach, everybody should grow the perpetual spinach. Yeah. It's amazing. And part of this video we should dedicate to the fact that a lot of people underestimate the power of growing greens. You might take months and months to grow a root vegetable, but greens, this sort of, these leaves, you can throw these things in anything. You get a few staples together, you get rice together, you get pasta together. You make a bit of dough, make a bread. You can grind these leaves up of, this, of most of this stuff and add it to it. And dry it and make green powder. Yeah, super powder. Super, green super powder. Now listen to Kerry. <laughs> I listen to Kerry because she beats me with a stick. So as I pan around, this is going to be quick. The tomatoes. The tomatoes in the barrels. These things, only two and a half weeks. 
They look nice. They're not bad. They're not bad. And again, little flowers coming up. Yeah, not bad. Now, we were gussy. We went where other men and women fear to tread. We put them in early and they haven't been killed by frost yet. Because we are in central Victoria and we really should have waited till next weekend to put them in. We did. Everyone said, don't put them in now. We're gutsy. But where did you go? You went against oh, the grain. As we do. As you do. <laughs> and as I do, as I'm told. Now, I'm going to quickly <laughs> run down here. Kerry's laughing at me. Don't worry, later she'll hit me. Yeah, Another one in the barrel. These barrels are actually in lesser sunlight, so they're not too bad. They're only still, you know, they're pretty thick. You look, yeah, at the, right. look at the stalks on these things. They're not too bad. And that's got a little flower there yeah. coming up. But over here, because we've been testing this stuff out, all the ones we put in the barrels. These are the monsters. These are the monsters. These are bloody unbelievable. Oh my god. You pan around and look at the size of these look things. Look at the flowers. Yeah. We look. also don't have tomatoes coming out of our noses. The stalks are unbelievable. And these are only two, two, two and a half weeks since we last did a video. The little, what are they there? Cucumbers. The cucumbers, they're sitting there and I think they're hogtied. They're doing their thing. This one's not doing its thing so much, but these, they're fine. Yeah, they will come along. But these tomatoes, we're going to have, again, I walk very funny with tomatoes coming out my ass, but tomatoes, we're going to have tomatoes coming out our bum. These things are unbelievable and very simple in a wicking barrel. So that's the tomatoes. <gasps> Look at me mint. I've been drinking mint tea, drying it and drinking mint tea, and it is yum. It oh. is, yes. The mint's going well. Oh, now, we've got a, a lot of fruit trees that are doing okay. Oh, they're doing their thing, sort of. Yeah, but round the other side, I'm going to actually ask Look, the... flowers. Yes, flowers. Yeah, we've got a lot of fruit trees doing okay. But I'm going to race through here very quickly. What a weird, wacky day, eh? As we go past Credence. <laughs> I really do need to ask one question. We have a couple of fruit trees as I pan on the fridge and come back around. These fruit trees here are doing real well. That one, all these ones down here are doing okay. They're only relatively new. Oh, they are new. That one there, not so good. That one there, not so good. Sus. These ones, Fine. going real well. That one, Kerry. The one at the end. Mad. Oh, it's beautiful. That's mad. That's trying to grow its way out of the suburb. And you should walk past and smell the lovely yeah. scent. But these ones, yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but they've dropped their leaves. They're, going, they're doing all sorts of weird shit. That one. That one's, yeah, but this one, this one worried about this one. Yeah, it actually looks a bit sad. It does. It's dropped its leaves, it's getting a few dead branches on it, like they're going grey, the buds are drying. Yeah. Anyone that's got a clue on that, feel free to, you know, shoot us a, an email. And what right? we figured out, well, one thing we thought of, is we bought these two from a different place. Whether we did. that is why, we don't know. Can you buy a dud fruit tree? Yes, but everything, all the others that we got at the same time, they're fine. And if anyone wants to know how to, to deal with health issues, Kerry's got videos in. Look at this aloe. This aloe has turned in... I'm going to make a UFO video on the Triffids. Oh, no, they're the ones that the, the honey eaters love to eat. It's growing a Triffid. That's not an aloe vera, guys. It's an aloe, different family from the vera. Aloe, aloe. We've got the vera around the but corner. But can you smear that aloe, aloe on a, well, a sting, I, a burn? Well, I reckon you probably could. I reckon you could. Yeah. But anyway, I just need a, a question. Anyone want a cat? Oh, she's oh, gorgeous. She's Come not... On. She's the friendliest cat in the world. Yeah, but look at it. Yeah, she's black and she suits us. Yeah. <laughs> but anyone's got a, a bit of an answer for these, I hope you can see it. The That's brand... an orange tree, guys. If you need... Well, you need to put your finger in front of the camera. They can't see you pointing. This is an orange tree. Ah, there's Kerry. Hello, Kerry. Hello. Yeah. We have two fruit trees out of all the ones we've got uh, that have just been very strange, all right? The other one that's, mm, yeah, it's a bit iffy, that's a, a Maya lemon. A Maya lemon. Mm. Yeah. And they're both being bloody tricky to deal with. And that's now, a Washington Art Naval. 
orange. What we got out here is our test buckets. Mm. Check these out. What was the one in the middle? That's the pumpkin in the middle. The pumpkin in the middle and... And watermelons. And watermelon. They have doubled in size. Not bad in two weeks. And they're looking quite healthy. They ha certainly haven't been exposed to 40 degree heat yet. But they're not looking too bad. And the ones over the other side, they're doing much the same. See the pumpkins? The pumpkins are doing better they're than the They're looking pretty juicy and they're going okay. They're fine. And the melon in the middle, it's, um, it's, it's ticking the, along. It's a it's pumpkin in the middle. We've got three pumpkins, two watermelons. Yeah. And the watermelons, yeah, they're doing all right, but they're not, you know, doing as well as the pumpkins. Yeah, they'll probably need a bit of sun to kick them along. Dunno. Yeah. Just what happens. Anyway, it's been a weird and wacky week in Central Victoria. Let's like, show them out. Oh, it's okay, okay all right. I'm getting into trouble. Well, they're gorgeous. The chili. Look at the chilies. They're again only a couple of weeks old and they're going great. They're I'm chilies. I'm proud of these chilies. Are they all chilies? Yeah. No, they're capsicums. Sorry. Capsicums and chilies. No, they're all capsicums. The I chilies like this sucker over here. The zucchini and the yeah. and the cucumber. We're hoping we don't get zucumbers. Zucumber. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can actually pronounce zucumber after about 10 o'clock at night with no problem, all right? <laughs> but these chilies are doing all right on this side. They're, they're all doing good. As you, what? Oh, but, that was a boob <laughs> shot. That was accidental. <laughs> we got chilies over here, and these are going real well. The only, bit, this one isn't doing the best, but the others are doing fine. They're not doing too bad. They're about twice the size they were a couple weeks ago. They are. Uh, so they're all doing okay, and we've even got even the strawberries have sort of come to life. They're they're flowering and they're doing stuff. Yeah, they're doing alright. Yeah, they're not too bad. I expect strawberry jam, so they had better pull their socks up and do better. And I can tell these strawberries from first-hand experience, they best get their shit together, all right, or there's going to be trouble. Yeah. Did I um say that? Does anyone want a cat? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, a weird and wacky weather week. We've been busy with the tiny houses. I've been trying to do some work, but you know, that's just not happening because the rain's been a bitch. The wind. The wind, hey, the wind. Who's had the wind? I'm trying to get a sunset, but there's no sunset going. It's just been so weird. A lot of people have been flooded. A lot of people have been, you know, drowned or... Yeah, and some people are in drought, God, who knows what's going on. So because I have a spell on you, <laughs> I'm going to leave it with Credence playing in the background. Hope your week was good, hope it was positive, hope you're thinking positive. I'd like to emphasize the fact that a lot of these greens guys, what's the list Kerry? Lettuce? Oh, in ours? Yeah. For what? Well, every day. The, the green stuff. Oh, I mean. everything. Like, think about the parsley. It's really easy. Lettuces are really easy. Chives, spring onions, celeries, spinach, There's rosemary, lot. thyme, oregano. There is just so many greens. Pak choy, bok choy. Greens will grow. I've, I've said this before. Greens will grow if you stick them under a brick on a freeway. Just oh. grow your greens. You can always get a feed out of them. That's right. And, and you, you grow can, the herbs with them and they're yum. And you can add the greens to staples that you can buy very cheaply. So if you want to eat economically and eat healthily, you can throw greens to flavour your basic staples like rice and pasta. And you can make some really amazing meals. Well, we live. We live it. All right. I'm not just telling you. Do we live it? We do. We eat it every day. <laughs> We? Terry makes me eat greens. I'm getting away from you. And tonight, what are we having? What are we having? Vegetables. Right, well, I don't know what you call it. Another one of my concoctions. It's healthy eating. It is. It's lots of veggies, cheese sauce. Tonight's meal cost about five bucks. Oh, not even. Not even. And, and, and it'll last two nights. It probably cost me three dollars at the most. Yeah. Not even. So do you need a big checkbook to live off the grid no. and eat? A lot of this stuff about survival or we self... We eat really well. I mean, God yeah. goodness. <laughs> Self-sufficiency and survival are two different things. We manage to make, or Kerry manages to make, great meals very cheaply. And we add all these greens that grow very easily. 
All right, that's not a tomato. I'm not suggesting you eat tomato leaves. We need to do a conversation one day about self-sufficiency versus self-reliance, which we promote self-reliance. Yes, we do. Anyway, this video is turning into a bloody epic. Yes. We're going to have to make a, a HG, was it MGM movie out of it. <laughs> and yeah. listening to Credence on a 30th of October afternoon when the weather's been totally, totally uncooperative. Go leave it at that. And you have to do it, babe. Bye, guys. Have a good week. Catch ya. We're out.